Gabrielle Dennis and Sky Townsend are the stars of the Emmy winning A Black Lady sketch show. I'm at Noble Gold Derby. I want to kick things off by asking both of you what has being on this show taught you? And we'll start with Gabrielle. Oh my gosh, being on this show has taught me that I am pretty resilient. <laughs> I can stretch, I can bend, I can um, operate on little sleep and um, high energy. Um, but it's just also taught me how much the world enjoys a good laugh. Um, and I don't mind being at, their ex- at the expense of it. <laughs> so yeah, I've enjoyed to just really, really have fun doing what I do love doing. Scott? Uh, geez, I we learned a lot because we, I, I think if people saw the process of creating the show, they'd be in shock. Um, I think for me, uh, coming off of my third season was when you think you've run out of characters, there's always inspiration. And so, you know, whether it was a, a waiter I met at a restaurant on a night out or uh, somebody I dated or a family member, it's like you have to get creative with choices. And so uh, there's always inspiration if you look around. Oh, fantastic. Uh, now, yeah, really, you were, you've been on the show since day one. How has, like, how has it evolved over those years? You know what? It's it's similar to what Sky was saying. It's like you think, oh, my gosh, how can we top the last season? How can we add more to what we've already done? You think, I don't know if I can create more characters, but you're not only inspired by outside sources, but you're inspired internally, like with each other. Like we inspire each other on on set and rehearsals at table reads. We help create and find little new things and new nuances. And that is the really fun part about like putting all the pieces together, not just the actors, but like the set, the wardrobe, the props, uh, hair, makeup, it all comes together. So for me, like it's just evolves because we're challenging ourselves to do better than what we did last year. So really it's, it's kind of that saying, like the only person you should be competing with is the person you were yesterday, right? So uh, we challenge ourselves to be better and we encourage each other and like just root each other on. It's, it's a very supportive um, environment. Um, I think that helps us do our best work. Mm. And Sky, as someone who wasn't there from day one, but you did join in in season two, what was that like coming into a show that was uh, already had a season under its belt, and have you seen that grow over those years? Yeah, I it was definitely intimidating because, you know, I mean, anytime you join a set, it's intimidating because there's such a big world. There's so many crew members. There's so much going on. Uh, there's so many bonds. And so I was just, I just wanted to do a good job when I joined, but I think it was... It was just a dream because we get to come in and play for work. And so it really is, you know, like Gabrielle said, the challenge is just playing even harder every single year and going, how do I grow from last year? Uh, What would I have done differently? What was my best character? Uh, What would I, what did I ignore instinctually that would have made this better? You know, so you really just try to take notes on what you did, release it and, and show up the next season. But I think the show... We learn every year. We figure out, okay, this did really well, this type of humor. Uh, We didn't expect them to love that, but they did. And so just listening to the audience and and making adjustments is really important because you can get comfortable in in how a show works and never move. So I love that we are always listening to them and bringing back characters and sketches that they loved. And so I, I just think, yeah, respecting the audience's opinion is really crucial in a show like this. And then we have an amazing, uh, you know, leader of the crew, you know, I mean, Robin Thede, she puts together an amazing team. And like Robin said, uh, like Sky was just saying, it's like, we all try to do better um, and challenge each other and ourselves, but everybody is just so dope. Like Robin knows what she's doing and she puts together an amazing team and we all really want to be here and we all really want the show to be successful. And we really want the audience to enjoy. It's like, we only have six episodes. You only really get to ride with us, you know, three hours a season. So we really want it to be the best three hours that you can have. Mm. And Gabrielle, you talked about sort of how you support each other and all those sorts of things, specifically with you two that we've got right here, because such a big part of comedy is listening and serving the other and building on what the other person's doing. Um, How do you each sort of serve each other when you've got scenes together? It's like you said, it's the core of just listening, um, whether it's drama, uh, you know, comedy, the whole nine, it's 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 stage television. It's really part of acting is reacting. So, you know, uh, having a, a good ear, you know, we start to learn each other's timing and rhythm. Um, and I love to give the opportunity and vice versa of like, OK, this is a moment for you to kind of expound or ad lib or punch up physically or even just verbally with the comedy. So 
you know, we start learning each other and we get in our groove and it's, it, we're kind of in sync and it's a lot of fun um, to really just riff off of each other, uh, you know, really freely. Mm. Sky, what's up? What's up? What does I, what does Gabrielle bring to a scene? Gabrielle is like, she's such an actress that she knows to just not waste people's time. It's like, okay, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to know my lines, you know, cause there's some people who go, I'm just going to win it when I get there. Gabrielle's like, do you guys realize this is an opportunity we cannot play with? <laughs> so, <laughs> Gabrielle is always going to be the one. And I know she gets tired of it, but she will speak up when some of us are afraid to speak up when, you know, we're like, Oh God, isn't it lunch? Or we got to do this. Gabrielle's like, listen, you guys, as actresses, we have to speak up and we got to just, you know, keep the show on the road. So I think there's a level of professionalism, but also just, because she's been doing this so long and been on so many projects, she has um, a great understanding of how we have to pass the ball, right? Like when I think of comedy, I think of it as basketball. It's like, okay, if somebody has a three on the way, you gotta just pass the ball and let them make the three. And at the end of the day, we all get the three, you know? So Gabrielle understands like, okay, it's time to pass the ball. Actually, you guys, trust me, I have a three right now. Just be patient one second. And so I think once we realize uh, we all have a strategy and that we just have to be good listeners and good ball players, we, we always win the game, you know? So I think Gabrielle really understands like, this is a team effort. So let's all bring our A game because we all affect this entire thing, you know? And Gabrielle, uh, what does Sky bring to a scene? Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, Sky is such a talent. Um, I have enjoyed watching Sky grow from season two to season four. Each year, she just steps it up. Um, and what my favorite thing that Sky does is her character work, like her her voices. Um, she has a few characters that I, and I think she was saying about inspiration. Her exes are usually a great uh, source for us to get our giggle on. Like her voices, her character work. When she plays a man, like she com she completely gets lost. So I really really enjoy watching Sky uh, bring it with the voices. Her voice game is on point. Oh, and her energy. So cool. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, uh, something I wanted to also just touch uh, base with you both on is uh, the show last year did great at the Emmys, won Best Directing. It's now a th three, the show now in total has three Emmy wins. What does that sort of success uh, for the show mean for both of you? Wow, oh, it's great. I mean, it's a, it's the little sketch comedy show that could, you know, um, it's it's a world where a lot of times sketch comedy doesn't get the same attention um, as, you know, your mini series or your limited series, you know, um, or, or just like your standard comedies. So especially when you compound that with the show that, again, we only do six episodes a season, but people love it. And it's it's it speaks to the quality of the production that we put together. Um, I always say it's like we're doing mini movies, like mini short films that we do several times uh, per episode it's not your standard sketch comedy where we go and there's uh you know three cameras set up in a multi-camera situation we're on location we're shooting like mini films it's a lot of work that goes into you know those two to four minute sketches and i don't think people really quite understand how work intensive it is so it is nice to be recognized for the work um you know by the academy by our peers because a lot does go into it um you know you think sketch comedy but really the layers and layers and layers of work that goes into that and i think it's great it, it says that to me that this show has the legs to stand the test of time and i always say that i hope this is an institution that robin's created where we continuously see new amazing female talent uh, break out and also all of our amazing guest stars get a chance to kind of go and do comedy that they otherwise may not have, you know, Angela about Bassett being nominated and the like, those people, like people recognize this show, like it's, it's doing something different and it stands on its own feet in its own lane within the sketch comedy world. And um, I think it's great to be recognized. It's got a great future ahead of it. <laughs> mm. And Sky, just quickly, because uh, Gabrielle started by telling how this show has helped her learn to laugh uh, or, or add the importance of laughter. Sky, what's a scene or a character or something that has made you laugh the most on a Black Lady sketch show? I feel like any time we are in the biblical land and we have to do one of those sketches, we laugh so hard. Um, and also Gabriella Steve, when we did House Hunters, 
uh, the spoof. And we had so much fun. I feel like when I think of passing the ball, man, we had just so much fun. So there's so many characters. There's some that are on the upcoming season that I can't say yet. But I think, you know, those are the best days on set when we just cannot stop laughing and have to gather ourselves uh, because we know the audience is going to love it just as much as us. Oh, fantastic. Well, how apt since we're recording this just before Easter weekend, the, the, uh, the <laughs> Bible time <laughs> uh, scenes are the ones that you find quite funny, Sky. Uh, both of you, thank you so much for your time today. All the best of luck for the new season and its run at the Emmy Awards. Uh, maybe you can win that Best Sketch Series category this year. Who knows? Thank you. <laughs> thank so you much. so much.